It's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and every day I work with doctors on their um, straight wire cases. Um, we help them with uh, any type of ortho cases that they have, and we always see some crazy misbracketing. And I found a really great image that I was able to share that shows you why you need to bracket in the center of the clinical crown. So I would say that these teeth are bracketed properly. I would call this center of clinical crown. Yes, there's some recession, uh, but for the most part, it's the center of the clinical crown. But this one and this one definitely is not. And you can see how these, because they bracketed too incisally, how these teeth are dumping in lingually. And this is what happens when you don't bracket properly. Now, sometimes everyone has a little bit of a style. You want to keep it consistent throughout the arch. If you're bracketing, if you tend to bracket a little bit on the incisal, then all your teeth need to be a little bit incisal. If you tend to bracket a little bit gingival, then all your teeth need to be a little bit gingival. But for the most part, I recommend just keep it all in the middle of the clinical crown and things will work out okay. If you're worried about collisions between the arches, well then you need to be considering why you have a deep curve of speed and use some of the techniques to help to fix your curve of speed. Um, you need to take a Ceph and see what's going on. You just don't misposition the brackets on purpose to try to avoid something that you probably should have fixed another way. It's, it's a red flag. So hopefully this is helpful and you'll remember this picture. It'll burn a little hole in your retinas so that you don't do that by accident. All right, thanks so much.